Hello, and welcome back to Melissa's Magical Menagerie. This is Let's Play Season 2, Episode 4, I think. Episode 4. Today we're building another house. What a surprise, I know. First, we're going to tour our finished first home from last week's video and take a look at what we did in the basement there. And then we're going to get into collecting supplies for this newest build. I also have some plans for the basement of this new house too. So we have a lot to do today and we better get started. So let's go. We can get a better look at these shrubs at this point in time since the video quality was so bad last time. But let's go in. So here is our ground floor with some seating and our kitchen with a big workspace, the fireplace with the cooking area. And we will go up to the second floor where we can hear a villager who you will see later. So ignore him now. Hello, Bob. We're going to ignore you because you will come later. So here's another seating area. Nice place to warm yourself some bookshelves, and then I think I had already shown this, but we'll show it one more time, our lovely little sleeping area that he can't even get to, but luckily he has that bed. So, goodbye, Bob. That is the interior of this home, and now back into the past where I actually filmed the things and not the future like right now. So I don't know what I may have filmed or what I didn't capture. So I'm going to go over all this one more time because I was filming on OBS and had my camera turned off like the the source was turned off. So my bad. So we'll do this again. Um, I have finished a creeper farm in the basement of this most recently built house. So we go down and it's all decorated because I was filming as I went but I didn't seem to actually have any video for that so here it is and we go down into the killing chamber there's actually three spawners set up on top of each other and then here's our killing chamber and that's that I like our TNT storage over here whoop that was silly our TNT storage and it's a little creepy but not really but that's it there we are nothing special I only used blocks I already had off on a hunt Ow, I hit myself for Badlands. And to just look and see how pretty this looks. Okay, it looks pretty. Very good. Yay! We found it! We need all the terracottas. I'm here. I can't seem to land, but I am here. I'm just happy I have cactus now, and now we're gonna get terracotta. Today's build, we're gonna see a shift in color to the natural terracotta. When flying away, I found this desert temple. We're working our way down in here. Let's see. Ooh, dune armor trim. Cool. All the typical things. And now to do the archaeology. All right, let's brush some of this sand and see what we get. An emerald. All right, I got it all done. There it is. Here's the stairs. And got couple pottery shards, a saddle. Wait, that may have come from... I don't know where that came from. I did get two emeralds and a piece of TNT. Now to go home. I need more spruce wood for signs. I need six signs, please. Let's just do it right here. Why would I bring one bone meal? Back with okay. more. Hopefully 21's enough. Thank you. So. Uh, three more. Actually, let's just do that. There we go. 60 signs. We have done it. And now to strip this jungle wood, we're going to need lots of stripped jungle logs. 
And with the jungle wood, it was easy enough to make the trap doors I would need. It was a good thing we passed the desert on our way to get the terracotta because we were able to get some cactus because we need green dye. We're gonna have to make concrete, green concrete. So for right now we'll make the concrete powder with the green dye. Whee! And with all the powder stacked up in the water, it's time to mine it back down. Looking for a good stony place in which I can make lots of moss. Has anybody heard of such a place? Oh, look, like right here. Nice, thank you. I'd like to make moss. Thanks. Because I need to make mossy cobble. It's 224. Okay. And mossy stone bricks. I was planning out the placement of the next home I'd like to build up on the hill. And I was thinking of this area. Um, it's going to be difficult for sure to get it in there. Uh, but I'm planning to. And so here's what it looks like before and after terraforming. <laughs> You can't see anything now. How strange. So all of the landscaping is done other than the building up on top. So let's go up here and we'll take a look. So we added a staircase over and we can see the layout of where the house is going to be. And I did add a foundation into this one along with these trees and brought this mountain out a little bit to make it make more sense. And we are going to have a wall around here um, and then an exit out for the people that live here to go down that way. That's it. And now it's time to build. You can see me using that mossy cobble and stone brick to make the patios outside and the floor of the workshop attached to the house. The flooring on the main level made out of stripped oak log And now for the natural terracotta. The decorated spruce signs all around the outside of this are what took the longest thing in the build. You can see I used all that stripped jungle log for the outside of the house and as uh, support in between the levels of the house. The workshop's gonna be built out of the green concrete. More signs! And just like all the other houses in this area, the roof out of copper. Signs again! There's a lot of interest in this building project. We had a lot of people coming to see what was going on roof shape for this house. It's cute. The house is built and I put fencing around it but it looks plain and kind of like it's jutting out of the landscape here. So now it's time to make it look like it's placed inside the landscape. So We'll go over and take a quick look at the bare bones of this house. And I decided that what I'm going to do in here is a sugarcane farm in its basement next door to the creeper farm. So that makes sense. But we have this layer. There's that. And then we can go upstairs. And there's that. 
I added two spruce trees on the hill between the two houses to separate that a little bit. I added an azalea for them in their back garden. Um, I think we'll go over there. Let me, ah, there we go. Do I have no rockets with me? Thank you. Always have my ender chest though. So we can see these trees. And I added some drip leaf stuff now that I have it. And then we have this cute little azalea out front. We have a little seating area here with some potted plants. We have our little pathway around. Added some shrubbery. And some shrubbery there. But I also added sugarcane farm for when we build that inside here. And I'm almost trying to decide if I want to do that first so I know where I'm going to go down at. So let me do a little poking around in here and see if I can figure out where the best place to do that might be. I determined the best way down was probably over here so I had enough room. So I dug down. And then I just cleared this space out. And now I need to figure out exactly how I want to do it. I mean, I've built them plenty of times before. So I have some supplies. I'm sure I'm going to need something else, but I at least think I can get started along with that. And so let's just figure out our general layout. I decided first I would need a source of water. And so I'm coming down with buckets to make an infinite water source, which I screw up and then take a really long time to figure out how to very easily fix the problem. Good job, Melissa. Now to make lots of hoppers. Placing stairs underneath so I can put the water sources in there by water logging them. I decided it would be more cost effective instead of building it all around the outside to build separate bays so I could get more sugarcane in. I have the sugarcane farm finished. So let's go down and take a look. None of the decorations have been done inside other than I just put this up so nobody fell to their death, including myself. So down into the sugarcane farm. I just continued the walls down. And it's pretty simple. I mean, there's not too much excitement going on down here. But it's working. Can we see it work? You can, yeah! Except see, we are losing some, like that one. I would have lost those two. I don't know. <coughs> if I should change that to mud and put uh, hoppers underneath here too, potentially. So I did, in fact, come back excuse me, come back with mud and change out the sand to mud and put hoppers underneath there so we're able to catch them all. I put chests underneath that. It doesn't catch a ton, but it does catch some, Whoop. which I then put back into my regular chest, but I did that on either side for both of those. And they're doing pretty well, so that's good. And now the house upstairs is decorated, so let's take a look. So I wanted the villagers, if I add any in here, to not be able to get down. And so, because they'll jump off of there like idiots to their death. Uh, but we have a little seating area and kitchenette. A little workshop out here for gardening. with Lots of storage if we need to expand the sugarcane storage. And then upstairs we have room for two villagers to be able to sleep. And I'm sure they'll try to jump off to their death as well. And I'll probably have to add another layer of those because that's just how they are. Cute though so far. So let's go see if we can get a look at this from further away. This area is starting to look so cute behind me. I love it. It's so cute and built up. And yes, there is in fact a blurred area over my left shoulder because next week we are doing a huge building project. And that building project requires a block that I don't have yet. And the only way I can get it is by defeating a boss. So I hope you'll join me next time when we actually build three buildings in one. I hope that you'll join me. Thanks for watching. Bye! Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications so you don't miss a thing.